Hey y'all, I'm Scotty Scheffler, and today we're just gonna teach you how to chip off a downslope. On this shot, a few different ways to hit it. You can, on this one, there's pretty much only two options for me. I'm either gonna chip it with a lob wedge, or I'm gonna putt it. So first, I'll just teach you how to chip with a lob wedge. On this stuff, really the only thing I'm focused on is making sure my body weight is going with the slope. And so on this one, I'm gonna feel a lot more weight forward, and then all I'm gonna do is a normal chipping motion, nice good wide stance. I'm gonna feel like I'm swinging down the slope. That's really my only thought. So get my weight a little bit more forward, shoulders almost trying to go down with the slope, and then swing down the slope. Came off a little hot, but not a bad shot. Other way to do it, which I would recommend for an amateur player, is simply just to putt a shot like this. I think that's one of the things people tend to mess up is they, they tend to overcomplicate things. And so on a shot like this, a bad putt is probably gonna be a lot better than a bad chip for most amateurs. So this one just simply, same thing, weight a little bit more forward, shoulders feel like I'm going down the slope, and it's just a simple putt. That's pretty much it. So then if we we're gonna go to that, uh, the far pin down there, I would probably take a club that I just get a lot of run out of. I could hit it with a 60, but I think it's pretty simple just to do it with a pitching wedge. That way I only have to fly the ball a little bit. I can fly it into this down grain and just let it run the whole way to the pin. And on this one, it's just going to be the same thing. Normal grip and a good wide base. Feel like I'm swinging down the slope. Get all your body weight. Feel like you're going down the slope. That way it almost feels like a flat chip. Pick a spot where you're going to land it and just go. That was pretty good.